You want to do the world's tallest water slide? Mm. Probably should. Nope, we're going to get our bracelets for Mount Olympus, and then we're going to go to breakfast. Good, how are you? We need our, breakfast, or our, our bracelets for Mount Olympus. Good morning, this is How long is the wait right now? Right here? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'll take the bill whenever you get it too. Thank you. How are they? They're actually chocolate pancakes with chocolate chip. Yep, you can see the color on them. So good. What flavor is that? All right, look at that, it looks beautiful. Three different types. Is this a must try or a drive by? Must try, but the yogurt was a little bit sour and it didn't taste that good. All right, chocolate chip pancakes are definitely a must try. You want to do the world's tallest water slide? Mm. Probably should. All right, so we made our own parking here. I don't know that you're supposed to do that, but not walking from a mile away on the other side. It was always Noah's Ark and Family Land when we were kids. The rotating water slide, the Icarus or whatever, that is a very, it's very high up. <laughs> we gotta do it. Let's do it. Let's go. This was called the Rise of Icarus at Mount Olympus in the Wisconsin Dells. First, we had to climb the stairs. And there were a lot of them. Slowly but surely, we got closer and closer to the top. And the view just kept getting crazier and crazier. Finally, we got to the top and it was time. Alright, what did you think of America's tallest water slide? I loved it, but now I'm super cold. It was so fast. I don't know how fast I was going, but that's why you can't be over 300 pounds. So fast. We're gonna try it next. Start the timer now. Is that 10 minutes? Yeah, it's not gonna be that. Alright, so check this out. Look how easy they make it. The raft pops up. This is hands off for operators. What a great design. The rotating water slide. on the scale. We good? Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, the rotating slide was a lot of fun, right? A little bit scary. Yeah, you didn't really know where you were. You're always at the bottom, but it was uh, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. We had a blast. So now we're going to go over to Wilderness. Have some fun over there. All right, time for frozen yogurt. Go for it. I like that idea. What do we got? Skittles, almonds, Reese's Pieces, Sprinkles, M&M's, Nerds, Peanut Brittle, Trail Mix, Peanuts, Glazed Pecans, Fruit Loops, Cocoa Pebbles, Chocolate Chips, Cookie Dough, Kit Kat, Running Bears, Oreo, Butterfinger. That's very good. Let's see how much they buy. Yep. All right, here's my creation. I did almost everything. And there's bees. All right, tell me how yours is. Yes. 
like ice cream better, but it's good. So what do you think of the frozen yogurt? The flavor is like 100% different than the actual flavor in ice cream. Like the vanilla didn't taste like vanilla. The birthday cake was like not very birthday cake. The toppings were good though. Is it a must try or drive by? Um, kind of just walk by. Walk by, okay, yeah, we're not recommending that place here. All right, so Blair and I are gonna do a bunch of stuff now. We're gonna go to take flight. Then we're gonna go feed alligators. We're gonna go downtown. We're gonna go to the Wild West show. We got a lot of things planned. Smile. Life on Earth today. Before we truly begin our adventure. Thank you. I don't really know. I do. Thank you. All right, let's go to the next place. So, what did you think of the flight? I loved it. it showed me how space started. It felt like a little squeezy on that thing, a little sick. But it was, um, it was fun. Yeah. All right, get ready for this. We're at Alligator Alley, Wisconsin Dells, Wisconsin. We're gonna feed alligators with live chickens. I'm a little bit excited. It's her idea. If you want to feed, it's extra. You don't have to feed you one. We do. We'll do one of each. Like, uh, a mouse, a rat, a jumbo rat. And the six pieces of meat. Yeah. You want everything. Okay. One of each, yeah. Do you want a picture with an alligator? Sure. And one of those. You can sign the rat. You got everything. And everything alive, we bring to you here when you are ready. You can do one piece at a time. And share. Yeah. Thank you. Place it in there. Slide. I mean, not too much. Well, that went quick. Okay, watch in the back here, please. Oh, that has gone. Sort of. Oh, that's one more time. I forgot about this part. Oh, no. All right, tell me what you're doing. And I'm feeding this python or whatever you call it, a jumbo wrap. Could be red chewy. Ooh, that went quick. He's always ready to eat. It's gonna take its head first, right? Dislocate its jaw in the meantime. Here it goes. Oh, he's eating. So this one then. Okay. Time for dinner. Yeah, the jumbo carpets are eating too. We can do these. Hey, hi. Did you? There it goes. Mommy, mommy, what's in the food truck? Face it. Eighteen and a half minutes. We're gonna do a dozen jumbo rats and a dozen mice at the same time. Has anyone ever done this before? No. All right. Not good. this crazy. All right. They're so cute. They're going in the alligator tank too. All these at yeah. the same time. Is that okay. Yeah, that's okay. Let's do it. All right. We're just gonna pour them right in and they're gonna go nuts. Here they come. Come on, children. Come on, children. Here we go, get ready. Oh. Watch out, watch out. 
Gabi. Oh, there's one alive right here. He's just hanging out. There's two mice. Oh, there's some more mice over there. They went over to the big ones first. It's the last one. Oh, there's one climbing up the wall back there. Oh, now you're good. Big muscles. Slide your hand down. <laughs> right there. Smile for your dad, and dad come right here. Big smile. So we're leaving Alligator Alley and we spent like, I don't know, two and a half or three hours there. What'd you think, B? I liked it. It was fun, it was very interesting. I mean, it's it's the circle of life, right? Seeing animals get eaten right there, right? What do you think happens when you have bacon or a cheeseburger, you know, it comes from an animal. But he's got an interesting story um, it's definitely, is that a drive-by or must-try? Must-try. Yeah, he's a good guy. And some people might talk crap, like, why would you feed all these alligators, all those, all those mice and rats? Someone's going to. So I wanted to support a small business. We gave them, I don't know, three or $400 today, $350. It's fine. Um, I, I like promoting people like that, right? Guy that gets his hands dirty every single day. The guy can't go on vacation. He's got to take care of his animals. Um, I thought it was a cool experience. And B, you got to hold uh, an alligator. Were you a little freaky? Yeah. You did a great job. I was I was freaked out. So let me know what you think. I think it's a must try here. Wisconsin Dolls um, from Labor Day until like spring break time. They're only open on weekends. Close like Monday through Friday. Um, but it's still a place you should go check out when you come here to the Dells, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Like I said, they're hardworking people, love to support small business. You guys know me. I uh, slipped, the, uh, slipped the, the guy that was helping us out 20 bucks, provided him our YouTube channel so you can check the stuff out. So positive promotion for another awesome small business here in Wisconsin. Get over there and give it a try. Make sure you're subscribed here as well, right B? Yes. We're gonna go to Phil's Wild Wild West show or something. It's dinner and a show. The show starts at seven o'clock. I don't know if it's an hour or two hours long. Excited to see what it's about. We're not gonna be able to like have you guys watch the whole thing with us. I'll take some clips. You can see us going in, eating, doing that kind of stuff. I don't know, something different to do here. We've had a very busy day today, right B? Yeah. What's your favorite part so far? I like going to the wilderness and this. All right, we're gonna have you guys drive in with us. It's quite the venue. Jason? Yep. It's getting a little skinny square for a wanted poster. Perfect. One, two, and three. Let's see. F11 and F12. Double trouble. <laughs> Take a gander at our menu. Just let your server know if you decide on anything. Right? <laughs> it's my YouTube channel. You can have that. Oh, that's awesome. One of them. Cool. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. What, uh, what kind of YouTube videos do you do? High Limit Gambling on that channel. Oh, that yeah. is so cool. Yep. Awesome. Huh? You can that. What am I going to do with this? You got to wear it. You can wear it. Where? Right. No, it's next. Howdy, howdy, how are you doing today? All right, I'm a bad guy. What? Am I a bad guy? Bad guy's way like up to it. Oh, okay, now. Protect that dollar with my very life. Uh, if you love this show, tell everybody. Tell everybody you know. If you didn't like the show, keep your big mouth shut. Really. Uh, no. no, we're very blessed to get to do what we do and to do it for fine folks like yourselves. And we want to come back again next season. So we'll see you there. Thanks for being with us tonight. Come back and see us again. God bless you. Good night.
cowgirl. Look at these boots. They move. All right, we're leaving the wild, wild west. We're Sneaky Pete's wild, wild west dinner show right now. What do we think? What I really think of the show, it was an advertisement for everything in Wisconsin Dells. I think there were some performers that were very, very talented. Overall, I don't think the show was well thought out enough. It didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. And it's expensive. Um, I mean, it's like, what are 80 bucks a person? Like even kitty cocktails you had to pay for, you had to pay extra for them. The food was not that good. The food wasn't great. There weren't many people there. So is it a must try? I think it's a drive by. They want everyone to give five star ratings, but tell them what they could do differently. I don't know, redesign the whole show. I mean, we're sort of spoiled, right? We've been to so many Disney performances. We've been to Broadway, been to the Disney cruise performances. Um, We've done a lot of that, and I think it's way better. Blair, what do you think? The show's good, but if we would have done it sooner at the other show, the Extreme Circus, if the food was any different, I would do it, but... Even, like, the macaroni and cheese and potatoes, they weren't that good. And I would have liked to have a vegetable besides corn that was like eating field corn. So nothing nothing was great. I mean, the rolls were okay. Um, they didn't even come and fill up the water again. So... I'm going to pass on doing this show again. We'll try a different show in the future. Maybe we'll do the Christmas one. We'll come back this way. Otherwise, it is not for me. So we're going to go downtown. We're going to play some, buy some games. We're going to walk up and down the strip. It's 840. Things are going to start to close. And summer's almost over. We've had such a good summer though, right? We did so much stuff. We tried to call, count it all today, but we just pretty much have to look on social media. We can see everything we've done, right? part of why we do this. So you can see that. <laughs> I love it. Advantage arcade game play at its finest. Let's win this big bear. Watch me. It's gotta go, right? It's gotta go. I mean, I've been right on it. Right there, right? Okay, so look what Blair got at um, at the arcade. So she got this so we can be like real movie producers. So we're at the end of our third day. You know, we're staying here our third night in the Dells. Uh, we just went to the arcade, right? And then we went to Culver's because dinner wasn't very good. So we wanted to eat something. We didn't eat a whole lot. So what would you think about the weekend? I liked it. What was your favorite? Everything. Except for our hotel room. Yeah, this hotel room is terrible. I would, I'm would, i not going to stay at a hotel anymore just because we get free tickets somewhere. The tickets, I mean, they turn out to like $440 in tickets to pay $700 with a really bad hotel. I'm not going to do that again. So. Like, the sheets don't really even match. And then there's holes in our curtains. Like yeah, the and the toilet seat has like blisters on it. We're over it. But I had a great time with you this weekend, Blair. Can't wait to do it again. Mm -hmm. Cut. <laughs>